Hey nerds, Amy here and today we are going to use Microsoft Loop to create a voting table and then we are going to create a loop component that we will send in an email to our team. All right, let's nerd out. Start off, we are going to go forward slash to insert and then scroll down and find voting table. I'm going to rename the voting title right away and there are some pros and cons auto columns here. These are definitely handy if your vote is for something that's more complex, but in this example, we're just trying to figure out where to go to dinner tonight. So I'm going to delete those. Next, I will add in the options for this evening. And you'll notice that there is already the voting column that will automatically calculate the votes on the right hand side. The next thing that we are going to do is create a loop component. So I'm going to highlight both the title and the voting table. And if we click these dots on the left hand side, we can create a loop component. So here we have a loop component, copy this, and now we can pop this into an email. If we send this to the team, so here we have the email, sending it to the team, and we have that loop component right here within the email. From within Outlook, your team members will receive the email and they can right away just click what their vote is. And now this loop component is going to update in real time. So without even having to respond to this email, I have now voted on this loop component. If we go back into loop, you can see that this has been updated once again in real time. And if you hover over the voting counts, then you can see who has voted. There are a ton of cool features within Microsoft Loop, so please also check out this video here if you want to learn more. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.